Now let us try to remove the epsilon production from these grammars, right? So the first grammar is S derives A S A slash B A B and A derives epsilon. So let me write it again. The first grammar is S derives A S A slash B A B and A can derive epsilon. Okay, so if for, from every production, if you uh, from from every grammar, if you want to remove uh, uh, all the epsilon productions, that means still you do not want to change the meaning of that grammar. From from this complete grammar, you want to remove the epsilon production, and uh, here the epsilon production is a derives epsilon, and still you do not want to change the meaning of this grammar. So the first step is find all. The nullable variables or find all the epsilon production. So the only one nullable variable here is a. So if you put a in the right hand side of any production, still you are not going to get epsilon. Therefore, the only one nullable variable is a. So after this, after finding the nullable variables, write all the productions where we have a with it and without it. So for example, we have s can derive a s a. Here we have a. So we we can write this with it and without it. So uh, if you write it with it, so it is B A B, and if you write it without it, so it will be B B, and A is generating epsilon, right? So after writing it with it and without it, now remove the epsilon production. So if you remove it, so wherever we have A, we have to remove them also. So this complete grammar can also be represented like this: S can derive A S A slash B B. S can derive A S A slash B B. That means this complete grammar can be represented by only this production, which is S can derive A S A slash B B. Now let me take the second example. The second example says if we have S can derive A B, A can derive A A A slash epsilon, B can derive B B B slash epsilon. Okay. Now for this, uh, first of all, the first step one is find all, find all null productions, find all null productions, find all null productions. What are the null productions here? A drives epsilon, A drives epsilon, and B drives epsilon. These are the null productions, right? So because these are the null productions, therefore these are A and B are nullable variables. So the second step is find all nullable variables. Find all nullable variables nullable variables what are the nullable variables first of all we have a and b are nullable variables now go to right hand side of every production and see if there's any production whose right hand side is only made up of a and b and nothing else only made up of a and b now for example here you can see this is the production where right hand side is only made up of a and b that means you can replace this a by epsilon you can replace this b by epsilon so uh, this production will also be generating epsilon. Therefore, the start symbol will also be generating epsilon because both A and B can be replaced by epsilon, right? So here we have start symbol is also in the nullable variables. Third, write all the productions with these nullable variables and without these nullable variables, and still you do not want to change the meaning of the grammar, right? So let me write it here. Right, so uh, wherever in the right hand side you have the, need these nullable variables, right? These production with these nullable variables and without these nullable variables. Therefore, we can get S can derive S can derive A B slash. If you write it without A, so it is B. If you write it without B, so it is A. Right, so it is A B slash B slash A. So I have written it without with it and without it okay now here in this case you can see the start symbol is having uh, start symbol is also in a label variable so therefore the grammar must be containing epsilon hence i can say the grammar must be generating epsilon the grammar must be generating epsilon now on the rest productions on rest of the production still the second production is a can generate a a a so you can you have to write it with a and without a because a is a nullable variable so it is a a a slash a a slash a right and we have slash epsilon 
and third we have uh, see we, we have to remove it epsilon no? so we have to remove epsilon so our aim is to remove epsilon and third we have b so you have to write this right hand side is made up of bb so write it with it and without it so we can get b bb you can remove one b by epsilon so it is bb you can remove the other b by epsilon still you are going to get same if you remove both the b's by epsilon so you get single b so you get sim single b now you can see in this grammar the start symbol is generating epsilon right in this production we were having this production slash epsilon we were having this production but now we have removed it, so we don't actually need it we don't actually need need it so therefore this grammar is not having any epsilon production with it this grammar is not having any epsilon production with it now take the next example the example is the example is a can derive 0 b1 slash 1 b1 b can derive 0 b slash 1 b slash epsilon i think till this now uh, it will be clear uh, because I have taken 2-3 examples but still uh, I think uh, you may face some problems why I am removing this epsilon don't worry see step 1 find all the null production there is only one null production here which is b drives epsilon step 2 find all the nullable variables so what are the nullable variables is there any right hand side of any production which is only created using the nullable null productions or nullable variables so we have the only already known nullable variable is b is there any right hand side of any production which is made up of only these nullable variables right so here we have 0 and 1 so it is not only made up of b here we have 1 and 1 not made up of b here we have 0 b here we have 0 1 b so there is no other production which is made up of this only b which is having only b on the right hand side so this is the nullable variable now write all the productions with this nullable variables and without it nullable variables without this nullable variable which is b so if you write it so it will be a can derive 0 b now you can write this production without b so it is 0 1 again this the next production is 1 b you can write it without b so it is 1 in the same way for the next production we have b can derive 0 b so write it without b so it is 0 b can drive 1b so write it without b so it is 1 right and next is slash epsilon and we have to remove this epsilon so remove it so hence the grammar which you are going to get is this a can drive 0b1 0 1 1b uh, sorry 1b1 this is 1b1 slash 1 1 uh, I uh, mistook it so it is 1 right so it is uh, you have to write with it so it is 1b1 without it so it is 1 1 in the same way here we have 0b so it is 0b replace b by epsilon so it is 0 1b replace b by epsilon so it is 1 and you have to re remove b drive epsilon therefore this is a grammar, uh, grammar which we are going to get okay so let me take other, uh, these three examples the remaining three uh, uh, after that we will conclude this one okay